homeless, especially when you become first homeless, everything you do is difficult. I owned a small business, a silk screening business, and because of COVID, I couldn't do classes, I couldn't do art fairs, I couldn't do anything like that. So the business shut down and I ended up losing my housing. I have like a bunch of college degrees, kind of had everything, had an awesome job, worked for the state. Upper, middle, class to lower, you know, I mean, I was up there, had everything. Well, I, I did everything in my power to create a situation where I would have a safety net. And still, after I did all that, I still didn't end up homeless. I still ended up in that situation, mainly because I, I guess I did not anticipate that I was sick. I had cancer and I had a surgery and I was recovering from that surgery. Um, so I was under a lot of stress and um, I wasn't looking too good. When you're homeless, you don't ever feel secure. You never feel secure in anything you do in life. It just seems like there. Most of the time you do something, but it, it doesn't go anywhere. You don't see the benefits of it. So when you're doing this stuff every day, trying to help yourself, you don't you don't get the outcome that's going to come in the end. So you think it's not working, or you think you're a failure. But you know you're not a failure though. I came in here, and they were so respectful treating me like a human and I was feeling so bad about myself because I was always you know higher up with jobs and everything and had status and stuff and now I'm like I had nothing no family nothing I was like I felt like dirt I came in here and the people here gave me love I was unhoused for over a year every day I came here and some of those days I was in tears. And being able to come here and that person look at me and say, oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? You know, let's, let's talk about this. I believe that if it wasn't for them, that I was like, sorry. <laughs> I was at the point where I wanted to kill myself. And because I was able to come here and have somebody love me and respect me, it didn't matter if I was homeless. No matter your economic situation, um, what you've been through in your life, there's certain things that are core things that you can relate to with other women. Um, and being in this safe space where we could talk about just anything under the sun allowed me to really open up and also humbled me to other people's experiences. You have to be the one that have that willpower mentally and physically to go out there and go get whatever you're striving for because it's not like it is where you come from. I was struggling mightily. I mean, there's a lot of women here that go in and out of very dark places psychologically, right? Me included. Connection is uh, what I didn't have. I had been abandoned by, you know, we'll keep it short, but I'd been abandoned and I came here and I was engaged. You know, I was connected again. But this isn't. You know, an oasis. Whoever gives money to EGAs, trust me, it's going to be used for the women that's here. It's not going to be misused, abused. It's going to be used for this place here. Every penny. And I can say that because I've been here long enough to see. What it's about is who you want to be. Do you want to be the kind of person, when you look in the mirror, that tries what you can do? Do just your part. This is about being kind. It's instinctual for people to care about one another. It's normal. You know, so we're, we're not talking about moving a mountain. But together, collectively, together, we can move a mountain. We can, we can do anything.